All right, guys, so the leaks and updates are officially in. Almost everything new coming out to Dragon Ball Legends tonight for the big update. Now, take a look at this. This is Shallot's official artwork, and man, does this look super clean on him. I love it. The fact that his Super Saiyan Blue matches his outfit as well. It's slightly different blue, but still looks very, very clean. And um, by the way, I made a poll on my Twitter this morning asking you guys if you think Shallow will have his unique gauge. And it turns out he does. Okay. A very broken one at that. But once again, take this all with a grain of salt because this is leaks and the official stuff comes out in just a few hours, which I'll have full coverage here on my channel. And if you guys want to keep getting updated here, by the way, 24 7 everything Dragon Ball Legends, make sure you guys simply just like, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and stuff like that. And uh, once again, shout out to Pro Digital and Gurus Dog. So, guys, let's not waste any time. This is his official artwork right here. Before we get to the event itself, I do want to get to his unique gauge because take a look at this. It's. It looks fake, right? <laughs> it looks, it looks, it, it, it just does so much, okay? So let's have a read here together, okay? Because I haven't really just broken this down by myself. I wanted to read it with you guys. So it says here, charges own unique gauge every time this character uses an arts card while they are on the battlefield. Applies the following effects itself once unique gauge is full, activates once. So this only activates once. Um, he draws a special move arts next. Restores health by 25% and key by 100. Plus 40% damage inflicted cannot be canceled. Plus 40% <laughs> plus 40% damage to special move uh, to special move damage cannot be canceled. Cancels own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Increases arts card draw speed by level two. Whoa! Cannot be canceled. Applies buff effects. Nullifies enemy special actions. When cover changing for 15 timer counts, applies the following effects to self every time a blast card is drawn while this character is on the battlefield, plus 20%. Okay, now I don't know if this is all his unique gauge, but we'll see. I think this is just part of his kit, but still he does have a, 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 a unique gauge. Um, plus 20% to blast damage inflicted for 10 timer counts every time he draws a, a blast, and plus 10% to critical rate for 10 timer counts. Yeah, this is his kit in general. Knocks enemy back to long range if cover change is performed against blast arts attacks. Activates during assist. And you can combo this into supers, um, excluding some wide range attacks, kind of like the variation. So obviously, not all of this is his unique gauge. Um, some of it is. It's just all jam-packed together of everything new, data-minded. So I think his unique gauge is pretty much still very much busted, right? Um, every time you use an arts card, his unique gauge gets filled. It only act it only activates once. He draws a special move, restores health by 25% and key by 100. And then after that, I'm not sure if everything else is part of the unique gauge, but still, this looks really, really good, guys. Um, he might just be a range type unit from, from the looks of it. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but I am quite excited, very excited that he has his own unique gauge like I predicted him to have, right? So, yes, we have that. Now, really quick, let's go over a few events, okay? Um, of course, we're going to get the Battle Gauntlet versus Android 17. So, his Zankai is coming out tonight, including 700 crystals up for grabs. That's what I really care about, right? Um, the Nonstop Raid 5, and I think these are all the Battle Bonus units right here. So, um, a lot of people did point out that Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta or Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is a Battle bo Bonus unit. I think he's a battle bonus unit just because he is from Sagas from the movies. He doesn't necessarily dish, it, uh, dish out the buff for Sagas, but still, he is part of Sagas, and right now we are in a Sagas campaign. So that's why I think he's there. A lot of people got confused. Alongside a brand new Vados PvP message, which looks pretty cool, the Sob Sob, um, you know, after you after you maybe double rising or somebody and make them rage quit, that'd be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is raid number uh, 5 out of 7, so we have that. We cover the Zenkai. Uh, we also do have this. Now, this is in Spanish. If we have any Spanish-speaking uh, people here, just translate this for me. That'd be really great. Lucha in esta temporada. Uh, man, I don't want to make a fool out of myself, but I, I, I did the first part pretty good. I'm not quite sure what this is, but probably nothing too crazy. But I do like the uh, the whole thing uh, around this. Now, uh, we're also going to get a brand unique gauge. Or not unique gauge. Shallow guys unique gauge. Pretty happy about that. Uh, but we're going to get a brand new unique equipment specifically for Zenkai, Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. Now, I'm, I'm quite excited um, just because I, I like this character just as a character itself. It will be a shocker if this does anything to the character because 
This is an old character, and if you just take a look at all the unique gauges, such as, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we got Ultimate Gohan, they didn't do that much. Although I would say Zenkai Buu did kind of get a special treatment a little bit, maybe because he already has a very good kit. Um, other than that, I don't know, man. But this guy, I just like in itself because I love his cover change. Um, he has like a very, very unique cover change we haven't really seen in Dragon Ball Legends yet, which is like he gets hit, like he still takes the battle damage, but then he kind of just like, you know, parries you away. So very, very cool stuff right there. And uh, let's just double check, see if we have anything new. Um, I, I know everything is rolling out slowly today for whatever reason. I don't know, it's like 9 p.m. So, I mean, there's so much data mine uh, leakers right now. Uh, going about there. There we go. I mean, we already have the uh, full kit right here. So this is going to have a little bit more clarity um, in terms of what we can expect. But this is in Spanish. No. All right. So this is in Spanish. That's not good. Um, let's try to find it in English really quick for you guys. But I mean, we did find a majority of his uh, new stuff. The fact that he has his own unique gauge is already a huge, huge W in my books. I mean, honestly, that's what he needed to just kind of separate himself from the rest of the transformations and maybe i'm not sure maybe he's gonna have his ultimate i'm not sure um and i think this might be his green card restores so this might not be a new gate a uh, unique gauge because the data miner is saying there is a good chance this could be a green card not 100 sure so he's confused whether or not this is his unique gauge or whether or not either a unique gauge or green card so now we're not sure if this is unique gauge right but still, it looks pretty good. It could either be a, a unique gauge, but it does say it does say here charges own unique gauge every time this character uses an arts card. So it does say it right there. So a lot of confusion right now. Like I said, I'll have full coverage here on my channel, uh, some showcases for Super Saiyan Blue Shallot. Uh, but we'll have to keep dissecting everything slowly here before we confirm anything. That's why I said in the beginning of the video, take everything with a grain of salt. Uh, like here, Garage Dog uh, confirmed, or he says it might be a unique gauge. It says it's a unique gauge, but then if we look at everything else, it doesn't say, doesn't specify, right? It just might be a green card. So uh, very, very tricky stuff. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I try to make this video as jam-packed as possible. Now, um, you guys need to clear, I think, uh, a chapter. I forgot what chapter to get him. I think it's, uh, let's just have a very quick look just so you guys can know. Uh, for the newer players, I think it's going to be chapter or book 15, something like that, chapter so a book i'm so sorry part 15 book five uh to get 1000 z power for shallot and that's going to take him officially to one red star as well so really cool stuff guys i am very excited for this um uh, i have high expectations but i'm gonna keep my expectations low but that being said as always if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys simply like subscribe and all that good stuff and uh stay tuned because i'm gonna have more showcases and how to get crystals guides in a few hours so yeah have a good one peace